Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to Switch to Life. Today we're going to be discussing my theories on Shrek 5. I want to apologize for the fact that at the time of recording this, I'm a little sick so my throat is a bit under the weather and my voice may come off of this sounding weird. Also, this is going to be a rambling video. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing we need to talk about is the fact that this movie exists. Because, well, not only does DreamWorks hint that the movie will exist at some point after Puss in Boots 2 The Last Wish, but they also hint that, well, they, they say that the script has been ready since 2016, and, well, a lot of the actors have said that they're willing to sign on for another project. Even Cameron Diaz, who was a retired actress, has said that she would come out of retirement just to play Princess Fiona. Oh, also, sorry about this, spoilers ahead for Puss in Boots 2 The Last Wish. Now, you might be wondering, what exactly could be the story of Shrek 5? Who would be the villain? Well, I don't know much about the villain, but I believe that we could see Shrek's parents, or specifically, Shrek's father. You're gonna love my dad. He's a real ogre. Now you're probably thinking, what could set this plot in motion? Well, for that, we need to give some context clues. What we know about Shrek's parents... His mother and father raised him until the age of seven, when, on his seventh birthday, they sent him away with nothing but a sandwich for his trip and some boots. Oh, and the knowledge he needs to survive. Including the fact that it's a big, bright, beautiful world, but not for you, and that ogres are destined to be alone. Also, at some point during his childhood, Shrek's father tried to eat him. My dad wasn't really the fatherly type either. Well, I doubt he was worse than mine. Oh yeah? My father was an ogre. He tried to eat me. Now I guess I should have seen it coming. He used to give me a bath and barbecue sauce and put me to bed with an apple in my mouth. Now, other than that, we don't really know much about them, but from there, we can distinguish what could happen. So, there are three versions of this story that I want to tell. Version number one is as follows. Shrek's kids are growing up, and they're approaching the age of seven, but that just brings back memories for Shrek when he was forced to leave his home. He doesn't want to send his kids away. And when Fiona sees that Shrek is troubled, uh, she tries to comfort him and he tells her what's going on in his mind, which is that he doesn't want to send the kids away on their seventh birthday like his parents did for him. And at which point Fiona just out of the blue plans a trip to return to Shrek's parents' swamp. This will force Shrek to step out of his comfort zone and will actually push him to reconnect with his parents. And it might actually force his parents to try to connect with the human world because Shrek is a respected member of human society, but most ogres aren't. And this could be the first stepping point to getting ogres as a species to be welcomed in society. In version number two, we have uh, Shrek getting a letter that his mother has passed away and he needs to attend the funeral service. While getting ready for the funeral, he has to get ready to reconcile with his father and together they have to set aside their differences and try to work together to make sure that it's the best funeral that they can have. It would be a really sad movie, but that is why I don't really want to go with this version. But the final version, I think, could be the ace in the hole. Basically, here's what happens. Queen Lilith has fallen ill to some sort of disease, and the only cure is a special magical artifact 
that can only be found with a map, and that map is currently in the possession of one ogre, Shrek's father. So, Shrek will have to go on a journey not only to reach his father's swamp and try to find the map, but at the same time, I think that maybe Shrek's father would actually like to join them on the journey to find the magical artifact. It's here that we would see a lot of backstory revealed between uh, Shrek and Shrek's father, especially something that will force uh, some drama to transpire. I present to you the a person who originally cursed Fiona, Shrek's father. Okay, okay, I know what you're gonna say, but I'm just gonna reveal what I think happened in the past. And just so you know, this isn't confirmed, this is just my personal theory. At one point in time, King Harold had a war against ogres, and at one point brought them to the brink of extinction. At some point, the ogre war ended when Princess Fiona woke up one morning where she had turned into an ogre. And basically, she was locked away in the tower until it was, until she could be rescued and brought back into human society. And the thing is, it would be dangerous for her to have remained in human society because, well, King Harold had a war declared on ogres, and even though the war had ended, the prejudice against them was still there. So, I believe that at one point during the war, King Harold attacked the swamp where Shrek actually lived. And because of it, his father decided to try to come up with a way to end the war so that his son could have a normal ogre life. Which is still a pretty miserable life, but it's better than being killed. He sought out to try to make it a curse that would turn King Harold into an ogre, thus causing his own people to hunt him down and make it so that he has to experience what it means to be an ogre. He sought out a source. It could be like a magician, a warlock. It could be a witch. It could be a wizard. It could be anything. But at the end of the day, I like to think that he went to Merlin because, you know, just having that little Easter egg, even if Merlin is a bit, mm, yeah. So he created the curse and he was going to get, sneak into the castle and give it to King Harold in his sleep. But unfortunately, that didn't really work out because he was stopped by the fairy godmother, who actually realized that she could use this curse to her up to her advantage when she realized that she could curse princess fiona to make it so that she will fall in love with pr her son prince charming who would only have been maybe a toddler by that point so they struck a deal and here it is in exchange for ending the ogre war and making sure that it does end the fairy godmother will be able to use the curse on baby princess Fiona so that she will be cursed to be an ogre and thus not only end the ogre war, but at the same time give fairy godmother the opportunity to make a plan that would result in Prince Charming being the one to marry her. Well, it didn't really work out that way, but that doesn't change the fact that it, that the creator of the curse is none other than Shrek's father. A bomb like that would definitely be something that would turn the tide of family drama during this quest. Basically, I think that Shrek might actually want to push his father outside of the quest and tell him to just go home. But I guess... Well, maybe Shrek's father does in fact leave, but he doesn't go home. Instead, he just follows closely behind, making sure that not only is his son safe, but also that he doesn't lose track of where the actual artifact is. At some point along the mission, uh, Shrek is stopped by a deadly situation, and Shrek's father comes in. He performs a selfless act and sacrifice 
And Shrek's father manages to save the day. Or maybe he could betray the entire team and try to claim the artifact for himself. That would actually be a really interesting plot device. It would be a bit predictable, but still. Again, I don't think this plot is actually what's going to happen. Or maybe it is, and I'm just that good at predicting. But again, this hasn't really been confirmed. We don't know anything about the plot of Shrek 5. But here are some things that I would like to see. Number one, we get a true origin story on Donkey. Basically, that he is a donkey and that he was actually, he had a great grandmother of a unicorn and the rest of his family were donkeys. So he's one eighth unicorn and that's what makes him well, one, so annoying, but two, the ability to speak. The second thing that I want to happen is for Kitty Softpaws to die. And, well, she would lose one of her nine lives, but she wouldn't actually die. Well, the thing is, I want death to make an appearance, but we can't really do that if Puss dies, because that would be the last death of Puss in Boots. And if Kitty Softpaws dies, well, it's just another one of her lives that is lost, but she's still alive. And honestly, I think this movie could do with a death scene, especially one that where maybe Kitty Softpaws dies, but they have to leave her body behind, and then they have to go rescue her at some point during the end of the film. And the third thing that I want to see, and this is a must, I want this to be a group-focused movie. Basically, the first two movies were focused on the groups and the relationships between everybody, especially Shrek and Fiona. But in the fourth movie, it was literally just a movie about Shrek and his relationship with his wife and family. It wasn't even about Fiona's relationship with Shrek. Which makes sense because Shrek and Rumpelstiltskin would be the only people who actually remember the original timeline. And with that, that is everything I predict for the fifth movie in the Shrek franchise. Well, the seventh movie if you count the Puss in Boots films. So it's everything I predict for Shrek 5. Oh, also, one last thing. It needs to have a good subtitle. Maybe something like, It's Not Ogre Yet. Since the script has been ready to go since 2016, I think DreamWorks is just waiting to release it to try to make sure it's the best movie it can be. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and that you're looking forward to when Shrek 5 eventually releases, which we don't have a release date for, but I believe it could be at some point in 2024. But what are your guys' thoughts? Do you like my video? like my theories for Shrek 5, or do you have your own? Maybe you can leave them in the comments, and just, it could be a little fun community tab. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and that you're looking forward to my next one. Until then, bye!